Hello, my friends. I just got off a call with a friend of mine in Denmark, and Denmark is where I am from. I was born there and spent a lot of my life in Denmark. And, um, and we met many years ago when she was also visiting the US and was with spiritual teachers and spiritual teachings. So I would say she's a very devoted, dedicated, spiritual being who spent a lot of her life connecting with spirit in however way, you know, she does it or we do it. And she's been watching my YouTube videos and she said that they are benefiting her a lot. So of course, that's nice to hear. So I get curious about what specifically is uh, benefiting her or what touch touches her, which is, you know, always a good way to engage with people because I learn from that and being curious. So basically the most important thing I think I got from that conversation is that she is being reminded of what is true. She's being reminded to connect back in uh, the simplicity, the importance of that. And I thought, well, that's really great because that's what I want. I want to help people to really connect back into their own true divinity and not be lost out in this world, which is a simulation, but it seems really, really real, but it's not. And um, so I asked her, because I know she's been so dedicated for so many years, I said, what, what is it specifically that has kind of disconnected you from that, that you need the reminder? Where are you spending your time, your attention instead? And the answer, there were some different answers, but the main thing is that, you know, she gets involved in life and she has no real community around her where she lives in Denmark. Whereas when she was in America, she was surrounded by friends and community and spiritual teachers so that the reminder is there all the time. And then you just go there more naturally. You know, we may get lost in the world for a while, but there's always the reminder, you know, go, you go to the next spiritual meeting, the next satsang, you hang out with your sphere friends. And naturally, that is part of the conversation or the, um, the getting together about that. So you don't forget. <clears throat> but now in this case, she has, she had moved away far enough that she kind of had forgotten to connect and these little videos are helping her it's like oh yes like oh that's right i want to remember that and then you forget again and then next time you hear maybe a different video with me or somebody else like oh that's right oh that's right so i'm curious are you forgetting to remember to go inside are you forgetting to remember to connect back in to what is more important than anything and to who you truly are? Are you forgetting when you are moving too far away and it gets too sticky out there that you don't even remember that there is something else? So maybe today I am just your friendly reminder to just unhook, to just let go. And as I have used the word in a previous video, don't touch it. What is it like to not touch that stickiness inside that wants to go and hook to the world, 
to all the drama, to all the problems, <clears throat> to all the excitement, to all the hopes, the wishes, the challenges, the battles, the arguments. They can be very sticky, right? When somebody tells you that you're wrong or something that is not right about you, immediately we like to jump in and start defending ourselves, or making ourselves right, or whatever. That's all touching it. <laughs> and the more you do it, you move further and further away. And the further you are away, the less you remember to come back. Let's come back for a moment. <clears throat> Just imagine that you can unhook, that you can choose to not touch that problem you're dealing with, that fear that is being bombarded at you 24 seven, just imagine, can you just let it go just now, just like that? It doesn't need you. You don't need it. Just come back. Come back. Let it go, just for a moment. You're always welcome to go back out and latch on if you want, but just to practice. Don't touch it, don't engage, don't react <clears throat> if you can, and just come back. And then notice when you are back here, with your true I, your true divinity that lives inside you. The portal to get through is your I am. <clears throat> when you feel that, it's very obvious. But just come back and just notice here what makes it easy to stay here. And what makes it hard to stay here? What is it out there that wants you to come out and touch it? Grasp it. Engage with it. It's not so much out here that's doing it. What is it in here? that seems to have more power than your choice to stay here and be just for a moment or for a longer period. But notice what is it in you that wants to engage with the world energetically, emotionally, mentally, physically, what is that? And the more you can feel and be aware of what it is in you that chooses to leave this because of that, that's a very, very important piece because then you are able to choose much more than when you are not aware of this, if it's an unconscious. But when it's conscious, you may only go, and then you go, oh, wait a minute. Is that what I want? And then this energy goes like, yeah, 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 we want, oh, you know, because it's an energy that is, hasn't uh, healed, that hasn't let go yet, that hasn't been digested. It needs something to chew on to stay alive. And it's your choice. It is your energy that keeps it alive. So you can choose to say, you know what? I'm not so sure if I still want to do that. 
but I don't know how not to because it's so automatic. It's such a default reaction that we need to start making it conscious so that you can see it before it's got you, before it grabs you and pushes you out. So maybe I will leave it today with a question for you to just notice what is it in here that wants to go out there and touch something? Well, what is it in you that wants to touch this energy <clears throat> and allow it to go out? And maybe the other side of the coin, of course, is that it's easy to stay here. I just needed to be reminded. Yay. Sometimes that's all it takes. So now that you have been reminded, and it's maybe wonderful and pleasurable and relaxing to stay here, please stay. <laughs> please stay. Don't leave it. This here you can touch all day long because who you are and it's what you want. So here's a choice point. The choice is what do you want? I know I always come back to that, don't I? What do you want? What do you really want? And now that you've had the reminder, what do you need to be reminded of this a lot in the beginning? Would it mean going back and listen to this video again? Would it mean listening to some music that helps you connect with that inside? Would it be reaching out to like-hearted, like-minded friends in your community to kind of kindle it back to life? Or, which I did in the very early days, I put little post-it stickers everywhere. My mirror, my window, my bed, my car, my purse. I would just have it everywhere. And in those days when I was still wearing a watch that could beep, I would make it beep every hour to remember, to remember who I am, to remember was a reminder. And boy, do we need reminders especially in the early days, but also especially these days because we are being bombarded and bombarded with so much information and fear-mongering and misinformation and scary things and urgencies and on it goes. So it's almost more important today to have these reminders all around you whenever you can and really hang out with friends to kindle that, rekindle that, so that you don't leave it anymore. Why would you? When you really have the choice, I would say choose what's really important to you and stick with that. I also listen to um, YouTube or audio tapes that Joel Goldsmith, created in the 50s, 1950s and 60s when he was alive, because he has been my source of connection. <clears throat> the way he speaks, the meditations, the words, his energy, his presence, and the reminders, and the reminders. And I still listen almost every day because it just helps me drop in deeper. And if I have moved a little far away and I don't see the sticker, I don't have stickers anymore, but there's the reminders are not there. Then, oh yeah, oh yeah. And it just takes me deeper and deeper. And you know why I do it every day? Because it is the most important thing in my life. And I have given myself to that deep longing and I do invite you to do the same. 
Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day with a sweet, intimate connection with your divine self.